stopping by Scraps of Mind today I'm going to share a card I created for somebody very dear to me who lost a loved one. And I wanted to incorporate my I Am Roses flowers on here to show you how you can dress up a sympathy card with just a few simple flowers from I Am Roses and it looks beautiful. So what you're looking at is my card that I created and it's a little over 6x6. Six six. And the outside cardstock that I use that is in teal is from Paper Studio. And the two background layered papers here are from Webster's Pages. And then I used one more sheet of um, brown cardstock from the Hop Scotch Collection from Basic Gray, as well as the coordinating pattern paper here. The colored image that you're seeing here on the front of my card is a Sarah K. Digi image, and I printed her off on some companion paper which is the Crafters Companion Ultra Smooth Premium White Cardstock. I absolutely love this for my coloring. And you can find that pretty much online anywhere. So I printed her off and I colored her up using my Spectrum Noir markers and I just wanted to keep her pretty simple. And I just love how she came out. I love how peaceful she is just playing with her puppy dog there. And that's why I chose her. And I stamped this image here by TPC Studios, and it says, May love surround you, may faith sustain you, may hope encourage you day by day. And I stamped that on a wooden tag by Recollections, and I love doing that. And then I inked the edges with my walnut stain. And you can see it just adds a little bit of dimension. And then next to it, I used my beautiful I Am Roses flowers here, and this is a crocheted spray with a purple center just a little hint of purple and the crocheted spray looks like this and this one you can see there's an orange one in here or a hint of orange and pink and yellow and then there's another purple one and then the white those are fun to work with and I love crocheted flowers and then they have the stamens in the center and then they have the spray of stamens up here super fun to work with and just to add a touch of the purple to bring it out on my image I added the beautiful S10s which are one of my absolute favorite flowers and the purple tone and it's a two-tone purple and they're just so petite and fun I love these and that's all I added for my I Am Roses on this card I added a seam binding double bow at the bottom here and I wanted to mention that the shape here that you see from the pattern paper is has been created using Kiwi Lane templates which is the mini paisley place if you're interested in that so that is the front of my card and I absolutely love just how peaceful it looks I didn't want it to be so dark and somber and depressing because this friend is she just has such a wonderful spirit about her that I know that wouldn't suit her and then inside I used my templates again from Kiwi Lane the mini paisley place and created this design here. This is from a Hero Art stamp, Thinking of You, Sorry for Your Loss, and it's actually two stamps, and it's from the stamp set here, and it's called Everyday Sayings. And then you'll see here that I haven't put any writing or anything, I will do that. But I did create a pocket here because I'm going to stick my, my writing in here once I write a little message to her, and I'll stick it in there so she can pull it out and read it, put it back. So this is my project that I created for I Am Roses. So be sure to check out the I Am Roses website where you can find all these beautiful flowers. I will also have a link to my blog with links to these flowers so that it makes it a little easier for you to find them. So be sure to check out IamRoses.com and thanks so much guys for stopping by. I'll have some close-up pictures at the end of the video for you. Thanks guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.